What do we mean by integral yoga and how do people practice? Integral yoga as expounded by Shurabindo, the sage, philosopher, sage and seer as you will, is in the simplest form a way to live life integrally. Many of the traditional yogas in India often posited a nirvana or a heaven beyond earth that and that you basically detach yourself from the forces of life from the way life is and then move into some sort of samadhi or stillness into being at peace with yourself. Integral Yoga seeks to achieve that stillness, that peace while being engaged in all aspects that life has to offer. We believe that the Divine is not to be found outside of human life but within the workings of the human life. So this is what the experiment of Auroville is about. For me, again, it's, it's related to um, a yoga, a work on oneself, in oneself, but for individual and collective progress. Um, that brings together and acknowledges the importance of all aspects of our being and of life. In Karma Yoga, uh, my goal is not to be attached to my work. I mean, not to be attached to the result of my work. Yeah, To be sort of passionately dispassionate about what I am doing. Right? Uh, it's also to develop a sense of equanimity uh, with whatever happens in life. So whether it is good or bad, I can handle it with equanimity. And the third aspect of Karma Yoga is uh, basically I, I do the work as a service for the Divine. So these are the three aspects that, or at least three qualities we need to develop through Karma Yoga. Um, but it is an individualistic work. I have to do it on my own. Each one has to do their own work. Integral yoga requires all the qualities of karma yoga. Uh, but in addition to sort of uh, my offering my service to a divine, it is also my openness to the divine. Mm. So it is uh, the receptivity of not just what we call an upward moment. My aspiration is the upward moment. But uh, that action itself will happen through me and uh, that, the, that the, we call it sadhana, that our work or sadhana will be done by the Divine. So it is this sense of not just surrendering the work for the Divine but surrendering the whole so the Divine can act through us. And it's uh, also to work on the physical world. So, one of the goals of integral yoga is to transform. It's a yoga of transformation. It's to transform the physical, not just the spiritual that we think and we reject the physical, but it integrates the physical and says the physical itself will transform to be divine. So it's, it's not an escape, uh, which many of our philosophies refer to as this cycle of that we are in, that we want to escape, but to make the life here itself divine.